racing to look forward to. First day of the Longines Irish Champions Weekend 2021 renewal of the Irish Champion Stakes. Apologies, I'm breaking all the rules on my way to Ballon Road this Friday afternoon, but I cannot wait to get to Leperstown tomorrow afternoon. What a day's racing we have in store for us. Opening race of the afternoon, the listed Ingabel Stakes. I thought uh, Limited Aggretio would be hard to beat. Uh, it was impressive and overcoming a bad draw to win on stable debut for Paddy Toomey in a well contested Phillies maiden at Leperstown. Second race of the afternoon is the KPMG Champion Juvenile uh, Stakes over a mile for two year olds. Group two. One that interests me is an each way bet in this is Buckaroo from the Joseph O'Brien stable. I think he's a 7 8 to 1 shot at the moment and uh, this horse won. Uh, second time of asking, uh, beat Stone Age of Aiden O'Brien's only a short header and neck, that was down at Galway, but I think there's more improvement to come from this arse. The Coolmore Matron stakes, very hard to get away from Mother Earth, it's impossible nearly to impose her for me, I think she'll be very hard to beat, she's been rock solid all this season, sets a very good standard, and uh, she will be hard to beat. The Boomerang stakes, interesting race that, uh, Fev Rover for me, did hold an entry in the Matron stakes, that was the plan. Connection switched late on before declarations to uh, let her take her chance in the boomerang stakes. She was third in the English 1000 guineas. It's the first time she's encountered her favourite good ground since then and uh, comes over from Richard Fahey's yard. Feature event, the Irish Champion stakes. I know we've only four runners. What a cracking renewal it is. Uh, tactics is going to be key in this race. There's no confirmed front runner and uh, for me, it's very hard to get away from St. Mark's Basilica. He's been in his fifth successive Group 1 of his career. He's the confirmed uh, mile and a quarter horse in it, while Poetic Flair, the English Guineas winner, steps up to a mile and a quarter for the first time, and Tarnawa drops back in trip as well. She was good on her seasonal reappearance at Leperstown, but I just think the trip will play against her tomorrow. Tactics is going to be key. No confirmed front runner. For me, it's hard to get away from St. Mark's Basilica. Patrick Sarsfield is the outsider of the field. We've got a competitive, very competitive Patingo handicap. Tenth of the vote goes for hookup. And our last race, the Nasrall over seven furlongs. I thought Riot could be hard to beat for uh, Johnny Morta. Really good run, eye-catching run, I thought, at Dundalk and his one night start for Johnny Morta. Really looking forward to tomorrow's action. We are going to have a Paddy Power preview in the podium in the middle of the parade ring at half 11 in the morning. As I say, apologies for breaking the rules. Uh, on my way to Ballon Road this Friday afternoon. I can't wait to see you all at Leperstown tomorrow afternoon for a mouth-watering and intriguing day's racing.